Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Aarti, HOD Internal Medicine at SLG Hospitals. Now there are other mosquito borne diseases like malaria and uh, chikungunya. Like you remember we had an epidemic of uh, chikungunya a few years ago. Uh, it causes a severe form of arthralgia and arthritis just like any other form of rheumatoid arthritis or such form of severe arthritis it forms. Again this can be detected only after about 4 to 5 days of uh, developing fever. Malaria again is a mosquito borne disease. This uh, needs to be basically treated with anti-malarials. Again, if your doctor is suspecting fever with severe chills or visit to endemic areas or if there is a, uh, if there are other symptoms like if there is jaundice, if patient develops a decreased urine output or a dark colored urine, when all these things come up, then uh, it indicates it could be probably malaria. We need to do some tests specifically for that and those tests will give us what could be the possible uh, parasite which is causing the which of the malarial parasites are causing the fever and then treat it accordingly. Many a times anti-malarials can be given both orally that is in the form of tablets or you can give it as injectables also if it is severe form of malaria. So by diagnosing what is the correct a disease whether it is dengue, malaria or they can be treated appropriately and with good supportive management like taking adequate rest and fluids. Most of the times the seasonal uh, diseases can be managed well many a times even at home. And so how do we prevent these mosquito borne diseases like we all know that that you know the hygiene that is environmental hygiene and also personal hygiene also uh, has to be maintained and uh, another thing being you have to use mosquito rep repellents before you go out uh, wear uh, full you know full cloth uh, cover so that the mosquito bites don't happen mm, so uh, these are the basic precautions which you can take.